Hey guys, Joseph from Clay Tennis here in Singapore. Today we're going to be teaching you how to beat a pusher or a slicer, okay? So why is it so difficult to play a slicer? When the ball comes in with backspin, often it stays low, okay? And the ball sometimes will bounce away from you or into your body because of the backspin that's been put on the ball from the opponent. So we're going to be running you through the key points for beating a slicer. Key point number one is perfecting your own slice. Your opponent keeps slicing at you, give it back to them, slice back to them, give them a taste of their own medicine. Okay guys, now we're going on to the second point, which is bend your knees, okay? When we bend our knees, we're gonna stay low. Okay, because often the slice shot is going to come in low. So it's important that we get level of the ball and drive upwards. All right, that's how it's done. Okay, so now point number three is hitting with top spin, all right? The opponent's putting back spin. We can counteract that spin with hitting heavy top spin shots. The ball is gonna be bouncing higher on the other side. It's also gonna help us to be more consistent and beat down our opponent. Okay, really driving up the back of the ball, guys. Accelerate the racket. Uh. Uh. Point number four is be patient. Often the pushers or slicers, they want to make you play as many balls as possible to tie you out because they're exerting less energy when they're performing their slice shot. Okay, so make sure you wait for the right time to attack. Okay, so I want to make sure I build the rally. I don't want to pull the trigger too soon. I got to wait for the right ball to attack. Like that, okay? So often the right time to attack them is when they drop it short and you move in, hit an approach shot, okay? Now we're going to come on to point number five is try giving them a drop shot. Often pushers are comfortable at the baseline, counter punching, make them play out of their comfort zone, invite them into the net, make them chase down the drop shot, Okay, and force them to make a decision that they don't want to make. They may have to hit a volley. They might not be comfortable hitting volleys. So let's give it a go. Okay, go push them back. Drop. That's it. Then finish them off. All right, now we come on to point number six, guys, is attack them. Okay, they're counter punching pushing the ball around, they can't hurt you, but you can hurt them. So anything that falls slightly short, let's attack, get into the net, finish them off with a volley. Let's go. Yeah. Ah! 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 All right, guys, we'll wrap it up there. That's six key points on how to beat a slicer or a pusher Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.